Hi, I'm Susan Alimo, founder and director of College Bound Review. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss effective strategies for the ACT exam. The ACT is an extremely fast-paced test, as students are allotted 20 to 30 seconds per question in some sections. So an important strategy is to keep moving. When unsure of an answer, students should circle the question number in their test booklet and then take an educated guess. If they have time remaining when they have completed the section, they can go back to the circled questions and reconsider their answer choices. There is no penalty for wrong answers, so even a random guess will earn the student credit 25% of the time, as there are four multiple choice options for each question. It's important for students to note that the questions on the ACT do not get harder as the test moves on, with the exception of the math section. So students should spend roughly the same amount of time on each question. It's vital to practice in advance in order to feel comfortable with the pacing on the day of the real test. Also, there is not a box of formulas on the math section of the ACT as there is on the SAT. So students should be sure to memorize the key formulas they learned in geometry, as well as the basic ones in trigonometry. On the math section, most students find the last 10 of the 60 questions to be much more challenging than those that precede them. Since you get one point for each correct answer, whether the question is easy or hard, students should avoid spending too much time on the toughest questions. It's important on the ACT, as on all tests, to be sure to carefully read each question. Many students overlook words like not or least and incorrectly answer questions that they otherwise would have found quite easy. On the English section, it often requires practice to read the questions carefully and recognize all of the hits. For example, a question might ask in which order you should place particular sentences. If told that the story is a biography, you would typically put the sentences in chronological order, starting with a person's birth, following with his or her childhood, adult life, and death. After completing the English, math, reading, and science sections, students should always opt to write the optional essay. Although it is not a required section on the ACT, there are many colleges that will only consider a student's scores if the essay is completed. Since the ACT and the SAT are written by different companies, many students take both exams and then choose their best scores to use on their college applications. I hope you found this information helpful. Please view our other videos on the PSAT, SAT, ACT, and college application process.